Ladies and gentlemen, Colgate Dental Cream presents the Dennis Day Show, written by Frank Galen. With Charles Dant in the orchestra, yours truly, Vern Smith, and starring our popular young singer in A Day in the Life of Dennis Day. Twice a day and before every date, use Colgate Dental Cream to clean your breath while you clean your teeth. Here's Dennis to sing Wyoming. Oh, give me back my prairie with the cattle and wild game. Where the hills are nice and curvy and the women are the same. Where cowboys all yell whoopee while the lariat they twirl. And timber wolves yell, timber, when they see a pretty girl. Oh, why, oh, why did I ever leave Wyoming? Why, oh, why did I ever have to go? Oh, why, oh, why did I ever leave Wyoming? Cause there's a sheriff back there looking for me high and low. And home, home on the range, back home in old Wyoming. Folks are acting mighty strange Since they started social climbing How they've changed the good old range Her farm is now a dude ranch And there's carpet on the trails The cowboys wear tuxedos And the horses all wear tails My Uncle Max in Cheyenne Claims he's honest as the sun He worked six years in a bathhouse And he never took a one the sheriff finally got him, and no more will Uncle Rome. They caught him working in a bank and taking samples home. Oh, why, oh, why did I ever leave Wyoming? Why, oh, why did I ever have to go home? Why, oh, why did I ever leave Wyoming? Cause there's a sheriff back there looking for me high and low and high and low. Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. No other toothpaste does a better job of cleaning your teeth than Colgate Dental Cream. For Colgate Dental Cream has a safe polishing agent that cleans your teeth both gently and thoroughly, brings out their natural sparkle and beauty. And scientific tests prove that Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. Yes, actual scientific tests prove conclusively that in seven out of ten cases, Colgate Dental Cream instantly stops unpleasing breath that originates in the mouth. Colgate Dental Cream is famous for its wonderful wake-up flavor, too. Nationwide tests of leading toothpastes prove that Colgate Dental Cream is preferred for flavor over other brands tested. So try Colgate Dental Cream to bring out the natural sparkle and beauty of your teeth for a wake-up flavor you'll thoroughly enjoy. And use Colgate Dental Cream twice a day and before every date to clean your breath while you clean your teeth. Well, some time ago, when Mr. Willoughby hired an inexperienced boy named Dennis Day to work behind the counter of his drugstore, he was sure it would take months before Dennis became a competent salesman. Mr. Willoughby now knows he was wrong, that Dennis couldn't make it even after years. <laughs> At this very moment, the door of Willoughby's drugstore is closing on still another dissatisfied customer. Dennis, what's the matter with you? I overheard you waiting on Mrs. Phillips. No wonder she walked out in a huff. I only tried to get a little enthusiasm into my selling, Mr. Willoughby. You said that was the way to sell things. Yes, but you have to use a little diplomacy, too. Not just, boy, do you need reducing pill. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Well, you ought to be. And how did you wait on Mrs. Harding a little while ago? For 20 minutes, all you kept saying to her was, Jack Robinson. What on earth for? I told her our quick-drying nail polish would dry quicker than I could, so I tried, but it wouldn't. <laughs> 
I wish I knew why you're such a bad salesman, Dennis. There must be a reason. Yes, sir. I, too, feel it's no accident. <laughs> well, I've taught you everything I know. Oh, I don't think you deserve all the blame, Mr. Willoughby. <laughs> That's big of you. Well, it looks like we'll have to review our lessons in salesmanship again, Dennis. We'll pretend once more that I'm the salesman and you're the customer. Ready? Yes, sir. But this time, couldn't we pretend that you're the customer and I'm the salesman? I suppose so. Why? I still haven't finished paying for some of the things you sold me last time we pretended. (laughs) All right, you're the salesman. Now, remember, a good salesman doesn't concentrate on the small item a customer came in to buy. He works toward a sale on a bigger item the customer didn't even know he wanted. You understand? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Good afternoon. I just cut my finger very badly. Have you any bandages? Nope. How would you like a nice waffle iron? (laughs) No, 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 no. No? No. First, sell them the bandages. Then talk about something else. Okay. Now, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'd like a roll of scotch tape, please. Don't you think it would heal quicker with a bandage? (laughs) That's all. Go inside and sweep out my office. But I just swept it out an hour ago. Well, then go in and dirty it. (laughs) Anything... No, wait a minute. There are a couple of errands you can do that'll get you out of my sight for two glorious hours. Yes, sir. I want you to drive my new car over to Middletown, make a deposit at the bank... Then go to the auto club, get my new license plates, and drive the car back here. Can you handle that? Yes, sir. You can count on me. I know I can, but just this once, surprise me. (laughs) Now, the number on my new plates is 024. Uh Can you remember that? 024. Oh, sure. I always remember numbers by association. I can remember this one by associating it with my sister. Your sister? Yeah. She got married on the 24th of June. Well, what about the zero? Her husband's nothing. (laughs) A magnificent system. All right, you can leave immediately. And, uh, Dennis... Yes, sir? When your errands are done, and it's time to hurry back here, don't. (laughs) And so off our hero went to Middletown in Mr. Willoughby's car completely unaware that he was about to plunge headlong into the most dramatic episode of his life. For the teller of the Middletown National Bank has just looked up to find a masked figure outside his cage, pointing a very efficient-looking revolver straight at him. Why? Why? Yeah, you guessed it, pal. It's a stick-up. Now keep your voice down if you want to live and open up that cage door. I'm coming in there with you. Yes, sir. Okay. Now stand here and act natural while I put the money in this bag, see? Or else I'm going to... Morning. Blow... I'd like to make a deposit, please. Shut up and stand where you are, kiddo. Huh? All I wanted... Shut up. If you don't, you're going to get hurt. My goodness, the bank never used to take this attitude toward small accounts. <laughs> Listen, you. Didn't you hear what I said? Keep your mouth shut. Okay, but I'm telling you right now, you're doing nothing to win friends for this bank. <laughs> So help me, if you don't shut up, I'm going to blow your head off. Really, you mustn't be so irritable just because you happen to have a cold. A cold? What are you talking about? Well, I notice you have a handkerchief over your face so you won't breathe on people. Look, you, I got no cold. That handkerchief is there so people won't see my face. Oh, you shouldn't feel that way. I'm sure you have other good qualities. Look, buddy... Can't you get it through your head? What's going on here? This is a stick-up. A stick-up? Look at my hand, buddy. What's in it? A gun. Yeah. And what am I doing with my other hand? Shoveling money into a bag. And I got a mask over my face, haven't I? Well? Why, George, you may be right. (laughs) Yeah. And if I was you, I'd be mighty suspicious of me. But you can't go around robbing banks, mister. There must be a more wholesome release for your nervous energy. I wouldn't try to stop me, pal. This gun is liable to go off. You... you mean you'd shoot me? But... but that could lead to bloodshed. Couldn't it, though? Well, it looks like I'm about ready to scram. All right, you tell her. Uh, Yes, sir. Now, look here. I'm walking out of here arm in arm with this kid, see? Now, if you should happen to step on the alarm by accident or anything, Uh, I'd put a slug right in his heart. 
I won't step on the alarm. Oh, please don't, Mr. Teller. Once those bullets get into you, they're awfully hard to get out. <laughs> now, remember what I told you, Teller. Okay, now open the door. Come on, kiddo. Take my arm and yours. Come on, come on. Act more natural, kiddo. You want the people to know how scared you are? Cut out that fingernail biting. I can't help it. I always do that when I'm nervous. Well, if you gotta do it, bite your own. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm sorry. Okay, pal, now here's a street. Now listen, if you wanna go on living, don't move until I'm out of here, see? Yes, sir. So long, pal. Hey, mister, your handkerchief fell off. Gee, what a foolish man to go around robbing banks. A start like this could easily lead to a career of crime. <laughs> Such a nice-looking young fellow, too, with his handkerchief off. Oh, well, I'm Is sure he that... gone? Is he gone, young man? Yeah, I'm afraid so. The, the license number. Do you remember it? Huh? Oh, you thought I'd forget it in the excitement. No, not when I remember by association. It's 024. <laughs> Good work, my boy. 024. I've got to remember that. There's nothing to it. Just think of my sister. Well, Mr. Willoughby can't complain today I got his license plates and put them on the car Even if I did nearly get shot first It's a good thing I wasn't shot, too I can just hear Mr. Willoughby saying I knew it, Dennis Day Always letting some little thing take your mind off your work He's the toughest boss I ever worked for in all my... Okay, you pull over. I did something? He wants to know if he did something. License number 024, and he wants to know if he did something. I guess you saw me make that U-turn. Honest, officer, if you let me go, I'll never do it again. Don't waste it on me, pal. We're going down to headquarters, and I'll be in the back seat with a gun pointed right at your head. Gee, the traffic laws around here are really strict, aren't they? <laughs> Okay, wise guy, get going. Don't try to put on that dumb act with us today. Talk. Talk? You heard him. Sing. I find this awfully confusing. Cut out the wisecracks. We told you to sing. Yes, sir. Zippity-doo-dah, zippity doo Shut da. up! <laughs> but you said... Luck day. This isn't the first time you were picked up and brought to headquarters. And don't tell us it is. No, sir, I won't. Remember what happened to you when you were picked up before? Yes, sir. It was very nice. I got ice cream and candy bars and put on a policeman's hat. And my mother what? was... What? Coming... Yes, sir. I used to get lost twice a week. <laughs> what are we going to do with him, Sullivan? The work's stolen. It's the only way. Okay. Sit down in that chair under the light, Day. Oh, that's all right. One of you gentlemen sit down. I've been sitting all sit day. Sit down! <laughs> yes, sir. Turn the bright light on, Sullivan. There. How do you like it, Day? Very nice, but I don't think I should have more than 20 minutes the first day. I peel. <laughs> I don't think this is going to work either, Sullivan. <laughs> It'll work. All right, Dave, let's hear your story. Well, this morning my boss, Mr. Willoughby, gave me some money to take to That's the... That's a lie. You're lying. Come clean. Spill it. Bank. I was also supposed to pick up his license. Another lie. What are you giving him? Talk, Dave. Talk. Plates. <laughs> but before I could get them, the robbery happened. So you admit there was a robbery. See how tough a third degree can be, pal? I'll say. I don't know how you fellas can stand it day after day. <laughs> Well, it looks like we'll have to get even tougher. Yeah. How would you like us to try our rubber hose on you, Day? Gee, would you? It's awfully hot under these lights. <laughs> Let's let him go, huh, Sullivan? He's making me nervous. <laughs> He'll crack. Now look, Day. You admit you were at the bank at the time of the robbery. Yes, sir, but I had nothing to do with it. It was just a coincidence. Pretty weak, Day. It's the truth. If one of you had been on duty at the bank, you'd know. Hey, 
Come to think of it, that bank is on your beat, Sullivan. So what? So where were you this morning? Well, I was home sleeping. Yeah? How come? Why, it was my day off. Pretty weak, Sullivan. You shut up. <laughs> what about you, Dolan? You're supposed to be around that bank, too. Never mind me. We were talking about you. Yeah, well, now we're talking about you. Where were you? Me? Yeah, you. Should I shine the light in his eyes? You keep what? <laughs> Good afternoon. I'm the teller from the bank. Uh, you sent for me? Yeah. Take a look at this guy. Can you identify him as the bank robber? Him? Gracious, no. He was making a deposit when the robbery took place. Entirely innocent. See? Yeah. <laughs> as a matter of fact, this gentleman is the only one who can identify the robber. He's the only one who saw his face. Oh. If the robber realizes that, he may come back here to knock Day off, eh, Sullivan? Right. And if he tries to knock off Day, we got a chance to knock him off. Boy, that's a swell I... Hey, fellas, wait a minute. I think I found a terrible weakness in the idea. Dennis, what a horrible experience. First a bank robbery and then the third degree. Yeah. Oh, you poor darling, your hands are trembling. Here, let me hold them. Mildred, please, I'm not in the mood to neck. <laughs> All right. Well, thank goodness your troubles are over now anyway. They haven't even started yet. The police think this robber's gonna come after me. What? Yeah, I'm the only one who saw his face in the nude. <laughs> What did he look like? Something like your mother, only not so fierce, of course. <laughs> Golly, Dennis, if you're the only one who can identify him, he's bound to come after you. Gosh, I'd be better off if they kept me in jail instead of letting... Wait a minute. That's it. I said something? Sure I did. Well, but I don't see Don't what... you see? I'm going to get myself arrested for something or other and thrown into the Weaverville jail where I'll be safe. Oh, Dennis. What an idea. Even the Middletown police won't know where I am. Oh, Dennis, Dennis, you grand boy. You're touched with genius. <laughs> Hiya, babe. I, I beg your pardon. Slip us a kiss, kid. Or should I grab it? <laughs> Goodness, I... Yeah, I'm pretty fresh, babe. Better holler for the cops. Uh, what for? <laughs> I wouldn't mind a little kiss at all. Oh, no, you're supposed to yell for the police. Oh, don't be silly. Come on, kiss me. Wait a minute, lady. I think... Oh, the... come here, baby. I think I'm gonna like this. Lady, please. Cut it out. You're messing my hair. Lady, please. We only just met. Hey, help, Police! <laughs> Willoughby? Oh, hello, Dennis. Willoughby, I want a $10 raise. And if I don't get it, I'm going to tear up this joint and smash everything in it. I'll break every window, put my foot through your showcase, and pour kerosene on all your merchandise. Why, Dennis. You heard me. What'll it be? Trick or treat. <laughs> Well, son, I, I guess there's only one thing I can do. Call the cops, huh? No, help you smash up the place. <laughs> I've been wanting to collect the insurance on it for years. Oh, Mr. Willoughby! You the sheriff of Weaverville County? Yeah. What's on your mind, Shinny? I came to give myself up. Eh? I say, I came to give myself up. I'm the one who did it. Did what? Whatever unsolved crime you got lying around, I did it. Well, uh, we ain't got no unsolved crime, sonny, except in the murder of old Doc Haskins. That's the one. I shot him. He was stabbed. <laughs> oh, I thought the bullet missed him. That's why I stuck a knife in him. You sure it was you, eh, sonny? Positive. Lock me up. Well, now let's see. Old Doc was killed around midnight, as I recall. That's right. I'm sure of it. On, uh, April 14th. Yep, I'm sure of it. 1898. Yep, I'm... <laughs> that you better check. 
Hey, don't slam the door, Sonny. Nice meeting you. Gee, a fine success I am. I'm not even jail bait. <laughs> Oh, well. Mildred, open up. It's me, Dennis. Come right in, buster. Why, you're... You're the man who robbed the bank this morning. <laughs> Fancy meeting you again. Small world, isn't it? Yeah. It might even get the one man smaller pretty soon. <laughs> uh, you're joking, of course. I doubt very much. Step inside, pal. Dennis, I didn't want to let him in, but he had a gun. Shut up, sister. Now, look here. You can't talk that way to Mildred. What? Uh, shut up, sister. <laughs> we, uh, we got some unfinished business, you and I, Buster. We have? Yeah. Well, this is no day for work. Let's just take it easy, huh? I'm sorry, pal. You're the only living person who saw my face at the bank. Understand? I'm taking you for a little ride, pal. Where, where to? You should worry. You ain't coming back. Well, do we have to go right away? Couldn't we wait a little? How long? Well, it's four o'clock now. How about September? <laughs> Don't give me that. I, I'm no... Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who's that coming up the walk? Dennis, it's a policeman. Oh, boy. Shut up. Now, listen to me, you. Let the copper in, see? But you better think up a story to cover me. Tell him... Tell him I'm a relative or something. And if you don't make it good, I'll... Oh, I will, I will. C -c Come in. Hello, Day. I came over to give you a little protection in case that truck comes back here for you. Oh, who's this? Uh, uh, my name is uh, Henderson, officer. Yeah, he's my father. <laughs> father, but your name is Day. Yeah, well, Dad and I were never very close. <laughs> uh, Father looks awfully young to have a son your age, Day. Yes, doesn't he, though? He was a child bride. <laughs> uh, well, I've enjoyed meeting you, officer. My son and I were just going out for a little ride, weren't we, son? Why, Daddy, it's rude to run off when we have guests. Oh, yes, do stay. Besides, Daddy, I'm afraid I hear Grandmother calling. Why, son, your grandmother is in heaven. I know, that's why I'm afraid. <laughs> Come on, son. We're leaving right now. Okay. I... Goodbye, Mildred. And, well, since this is goodbye, I'd like to say that... that... Yes, Dennis? That if I had to do it all over again, next time I wouldn't be so hard to get. <laughs> oh, I understand, Dennis. I'm telling you, for the last time, son, let's get going. Yes, sir. Uh, let me help you with your coat, Mr. Henderson. Oh, wait a minute. I don't need no help. But... Dennis, oh, oh. there on the floor, he dropped his gun. Huh? Oh. Oh, yeah, Daddy dropped his gun. Here, Daddy. <laughs> Don't give it to him. Dennis pointed at him. What? Oh, stick him out, you. I mean, stick him down. I mean, stick him wherever you're supposed to stick him. <laughs> Why, you... What's going on here? Officer, quick, the handcuffs. This man's the bank robber. Why? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Here, you. <laughs> Of you. <laughs> Dennis, I'm so proud of you. You caught him. Yeah. Gee, I didn't know I had it in me. I even pointed the right end of the gun at him. <laughs> I know. Oh, you were wonderful. Nice work, kid. And don't worry, we'll see that you're cut in on the money. Money? What money? Didn't you know? There's a reward on this guy's head. Gosh, really? And it's the worst part of him, too. <laughs> Dennis Day will be back in just a moment with a song. But first, here's a fact worth knowing. Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. And that's important, as our Colgate players are going to demonstrate for you. Tonight, our Colgate curtain goes up on a young man leaning against a taxi cab. His girlfriend has just slammed out of the cab with a freezing good night. He turns to the cab driver and says, Well, what do you make of that, buddy? My girl turns me down and without telling me what I did or when I did it. If you want my opinion, mister, 
You need a tip more than I do. I sure do. So if you've got any ideas, buddy, let's have them. Well, it's like this, Chief. I know Dame, see? Fussy is all get out about some things. Like a guy needing to see his dentist, for instance. Get me? Wow. So that's it. And here's what our hero found out. Scientific tests have proved that in seven out of ten cases, Colgate Dental Cream instantly stops unpleasing breath that originates in the mouth. What's more, Colgate Dental Cream's safe polishing agent brings out the natural sparkle of your teeth, cleans them thoroughly and safely. Yes, Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. And Colgate Dental Cream is famous for its wonderful wake-up flavor, too. In fact, nationwide tests of leading toothpastes prove that Colgate Dental Cream is preferred for flavor over other brands tested. So, to clean your teeth thoroughly and safely, for a wake-up flavor everyone enjoys, use Colgate Dental Cream. Remember, Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. Here's Dennis Day to sing Charles Dance's beautiful arrangement of Bless You. It's amazingly different. Not a liquid, not a soap, but an utterly new cream shampoo that leaves hair soft, radiant, glamorous, and also easy to manage. It's Luster Cream Shampoo, created by Kay Dumont, who combined rich lanolin with secret ingredients. Use Luster Cream Shampoo and see how soft, how naturally lovely, how brilliantly alive and well-behaved your hair can be. Ask for Luster Cream Shampoo at cosmetic counters. This is Vern Smith reminding you that today dealers are paying higher prices than ever before for used cooking fats and oils. Save them, turn them in for cash. Remember, industry needs these fats and oils urgently to help produce soap, automobiles, refrigerators, all the things you want and need. Remember this too, the shortage of fats and oils is a worldwide problem. So keep right on saving cooking fats and oils. Turn them into your dealer and he'll pay you more for your used fats. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company. <laughs> 